Hey everyone, this is Donald the Repentless, introducing a new series to you and laying down some groundwork for this new series. The series is going to be entitled Life of an in Inventory Auditor. Um, the reason I'm making this video is twofold. First, I find the entire inventory in industry in which I work in, by the way, I work for a company called Regis Inventory Specialists. So, and that's why there's a disclaimer at the front of this video as part of the introduction or the opening of this video because I'll be talking about inventory in general, about experiences I've had in Regis or WIS, which is WIS International, which is another company. But for this video, I'm going to line out what exactly I'm going to be doing with this series. Um, aside from talking about my experiences, telling stories of things that have happened as I've worked in the industry, the inventory taking in industry, um, I might talk about some of the equipment used um, because I, I, I do find the the technical part of it and the equipment side of it absolutely fascinating. I mean, a lot of people may not find that very interesting, but I personally do. And the reasons I think that I'm making, well, the reasons I'm making this video are twofold. One, because of my interest in it in general. Um, I'm trying to just put out videos that are interesting to me, things that I want to make, even if I never get any kind of following for doing those kind of videos, but I want to do only what speaks to me, what I'm excited about, what I find um, interesting. And so far, you know, I've done a couple of news things. I, I really should start making the Repentless News Brief more often. Um, maybe a weekly series. I haven't decided yet. I'm still looking at that because both the videos I did did get about 10 views each. So that might be a potential <laughs> excuse me audience but the other reason is simply sorry for the interruption I had a coughing fit so I I wanted to get over that before I returned to recording this video um, before I move on to the second reason you know I've also made some um, videos debunking a certain youtuber named Ilano or Heleno and I've done some stuff on atheism, which is another subject that is fascinating to me because I'm an atheist now. I used to be a Christian. I used to be a Mormon. Um, I even tried to start my own Mormon cult, but I digress. I mean, so I'll be making more of those type of videos where I talk about subjects like hell and that kind of thing and my reasons for rejecting theism in general. But going back to the point. The second reason that I want to make this series, although there are a couple of blogs out there on on inventory, the industry, industry, and people's experience with that, the industry itself, there is a there seems to be a void within YouTube on the inventory industry. Now there are some videos out there on YouTube of people talking about their experiences as an employee of Regis and those are generally negative because working as an inventory auditor is not a job for anyone, for everyone. I'm sorry, everyone, not anyone. Um, I personally have enjoyed my time working with Regis um, I've worked for some spectacular area managers, um, particularly Diane, I'm not going to say last names, who was a veteran, and he went up, I think he worked for the company for like 30 years before she retired. Um, I'm now working with a man named Ronson, who is also pretty good. Um, a little flaky at times, but overall, he's pretty good. Uh, I can't really fault him or say anything bad about him because uh, my uh, my hours have declined over the last couple of years because of health issues but I've I've enjoyed working with him and the main 
district manager that I worked with was Pam. Um, some people may have had problems with her, but as for me, you know, she was always professional and courteous with me. She she never raised her voice. Um, you know, other people have talked about her raising her voice. I I never really seen her raise her voice at people. Um, but she was always professional. She she always seemed to be on top of everything. And she she retired about the same time that Diane retired and was replaced by Jesse, who um I worked with for a long time as well. And she does seem to be on top of things. She she's also someone who has been professional with me. Um if other people have problems with her, I, I wouldn't know what they are because I don't go around involving myself that much in office politics. But okay. Enough of that, but back to the point, is there is this lack of videos and content on the inventory industry. Now, I know Regis has a channel, and they, and they put out like a promotional job stuff and whatnot, but I want to try to fill this void of research into the industry from someone who is kind of an insider but kind of an outsider because I'm not in the leadership of any company. I'm not a manager or CEO or anything like that. And kind of review the history of inventory in general and companies. Highlight companies that are within the industry. So when I do talk about the technology side, the equipment involved, um, none of what I will be saying about them you know, are things that are not that are or are things that will are readily available through a simple Google search. Um, I'm not privy to like any of the like program or details like that. But there is some information out there about the technology used within the industry and one of the first videos I want to do is about the inventory equipment itself um, and the development of that equipment over the years because I've worked with uh, five different types of machines um, the ones by from WIS um, not the wizard because that's after I left the audit series and probably two or three at least iterations of that series of devices, the RM1 and now the RM2. Um, I've, you know, I've, I feel pretty good about working in, in, in the inventory industry. And that's another reason why I'm doing this, is to basically share these things that I'm interested in and talk about this industry that I have been a part of as a frontline worker for the better part of 20 years. Because between WIS um, Washington, and Washington Inventory, WIS and Regis, I think I worked in the industry about 14 or 15 years, which I think puts me in a unique position to talk about the industry, about the history of the industry, and about the technology used in the industry. So, I'm kind of rambling here. Um, I'm probably going longer than I probably should on a video like this, but if you like this video, share it, thumbs up it, um, subscribe to my channel if you want more information on the inventory industry, and hear some more stories from a guy who's been around for a while. This is Donald the Repentless signing off. Thank you again for watching and everybody be awesome.